What's up? What it do? What it does? What's going on, good brother? How you feeling, man? Oh, man, you know me out here trying to get it in, man. I already know it, man. I just want to say we appreciate me. You know that you ain't got a lot of time, but you're here yeah. with us. Thank you so much, man. We're going to get right into the conversation. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know, um, from your first album to the album that's just about to come up, The Recession, yeah. there's been a lot of growth that we've yeah. seen. You know what I mean? And um, especially, you know, we, recently, uh, we see that you've been getting a little bit more political as well. Yeah. Has that, has that been on purpose or that's just, I mean, that's just always, how it happened? I've always been that way. It's just, you know, I just, I really got a chance to display it. You know what I mean? At a time of need, it's like you, you realize your voice is, you know what I'm saying, more than music sometimes. People listen to what you say. I've been in the club and they can't ask me about some real life situations and I tell him my advice and he might walk off with a smile on his face like, yeah, I, I could do that. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, I just saw, you know, what was going on, you know what I'm saying, in my community. And I just wanted to address it because, you know, I've been there and done that. A lot of cats in this game ain't never been there. They just got on. You know what I mean? So they don't, they don't understand, they can't relate to the people. That's right. You know what I mean? So I just felt it was my duty to do so. That's what's you know up. And, you know, and some people, they, they hear your words and, uh, you know, or some rappers in general, they hear the music and then they yeah. act it out. But that's not really them. What it's, advice you got for them, Kevin? I mean, you know, it's hard to say because... Even me, I thought it was entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I can't even lie. Like, I mm -hmm. never would have thought that I could have came from where I was at to here. You know what I mean? Like, my homie just called me from the pen. I had 40 years. But, you know, that was my road dog. But, like, he can't believe this is going on with me. You know what I mean? So, the cats that never lived it, I mean, they probably can tell it better, to be honest with you. Because there's only so many things I'm going to say, you know what I mean, without looking crazy. So the cats that never live, they look, they look a little more polished, they look better, and it's entertainment. So, you know, for the cats out there that's real and that's about it, you know, I'd be the first one to tell you I was out there, homie. But look at me now, so if I can do it, you can. That's and you got to even watch the cats that's old and they ain't never did it. If they can do it, I know you can. That's real. You know what I mean? That's real. Did you have a question? Um, with the influence that you have in the community, so many people looking up to you, idolizing you, and putting you in the position that you are, yeah. how do you feel, what do you feel your responsibility is as a role model and, and an artist to the community and to the I kids? I mean, as far as the kids in the community is concerned, I've been, before I had a video, I've been doing Christmas functions and mm -hmm. giving back. I, I've single-handedly walked around, you know, my neighborhood and passed out Christmas tours myself. I've been a part of, you know, uh, in any type of charity, I mean, whether it's a thousand, uh, thousand tours, thousand kids, whether it's, you know, back to school events, and you know what I'm saying, and giving book bags and clothes. I mean, I do that, but I don't do that for the press or the right. publicity. Right. I do that because I know what it's like. I, I could only imagine if Tupac would have gave me a book bag. I mm -hmm. probably went to college right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and and that's just how it feels. Like, you know, these little kids, they, they look up to you. You know, I did wrong, but I made it right, but at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. we, Nobody's right, you know, right. politicians ain't right, nobody right, that's real, that's everybody real. gonna live. So at the same time, as long as I get back and get my blessings, I'm cool. That's I mean, real. As long as the kids know that I took the time out of my personal time to come to the hood, sit around, you know what I mean, and give things back, I'm good. Like, I don't need to the, press the about it. And it's funny that you say that because I actually, I was I was telling uh, BB, I, uh, I, I lived in Atlanta, right yeah. in the West End area. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mom Jamil, I heard you talk about yeah. him. I actually grew up in that community. Yeah. And uh, recently, I, we looked, we took a look at your video uh, put on for my city. Yeah. And there's a lot of messages in that video, yeah. bro. You got the black and black, silver flag, flag you know what I mean? You got the, the young black guy standing in front of the Uncle Sam poster, yeah. right? You got the uh, the guy, the pastor standing in front of the church, exactly. the soup kitchen clothes. You had a lot of subliminal yeah. messages. Explain that for us. I mean, you know, when I did the song, that was, it was basically about, you know, everybody was kind of going through times when money was plentiful. You know, I, I spoke on it, you know what I mean? When, when money slowed up, you know, I should speak on it, but, you know, it was really hard, so... At the same time, you know, instead of me just coming out on my first look for for my new album, you know, just, you know, the same old thing, you know, just cars and bras, it's like, nah, you know, this is about y'all. Mm -hmm. I had somebody call me too, like, yo, I'm to all the ice and all the fun, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't really that. That, right. wasn't, that wasn't the message I was trying to, you know, that wasn't the message I was trying to portray. I really wanted people to see, like, I'm going to ride with y'all on this one. That's what's up. Like, if you listen to the records, Crazy World, My President, you know, all that, that's right. that's for them, you know what I mean? That's, a, a cat told me yesterday, everything you're saying right now, I want to say, I just know how to say it. Wow. So, you know, good luck. And that goes right into your next album. Yeah. You know, and it's mm -hmm. funny because recession, and yeah. that's what we in right now, for real, for real. Yeah, you know, Bush don't seem to think so. He over in Beijing <laughs> watching the basketball. <laughs> right, right. Kicking. 
Yeah, right, but I mean that's exactly, and, and I know I don't know if you have a chance to go around Cleveland, but much like Atlanta, Cleveland, the foreclosure crisis is crazy. Yeah. The abandoned buildings, I mean, just the poverty in general. You know, what advice would you have for the young people who are here who are starving, who think yeah. that the only way is one way, but in yeah. reality, you know, you you know, you change it up. I mean, I think to be honest with you, you know, at this time, it's, it's, it's more so about us building together. Cause it ain't, I mean, even though everybody's like with a rock, I definitely am too. Like, you know, you can't just put all that pressure on one person. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, one print, one prin a principal can't run even a whole high school. So how is one person going to run a, a whole country and fix everybody's problems? So it's things we're going to fix internally and, and, and we're going to have to do ourselves. And that's what the album was about. Like, okay, y'all see what's going on. I'm going to make y'all aware to mm -hmm. it. Because I, I got albums before I heard cats talking. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he yelling names, and you like, who? You know what I mean? Mm, right. But as you get older, you're like, man, he was he was before his time. He knew that. Mm. I didn't. Right. So that's what I'm trying to, you know, just get cats aware. Even with my website, even with uh, usdatoday.com, it's more so I wasn't even all computer savvy like that. Right. You know, I went into the internet, you know, catching up with the future. But now, as I see what's going on, I'm like, how can I get cats to log on and go on the computer? Nobody want to go on the gossip sites. They want to see what's going on for real. That's real. So that's yeah, what well, I've done, stuff. you know what I mean? That's real, yeah. man. Well, I, I just want to say that uh, for everybody out there, it, it really means a lot to me. One of my favorite artists is Tupac Shakur, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and his transition from just talking about, you know, real life, exactly. but at the same time, forcing us to look at life a little bit differently yeah. and that's and, and for real I don't, I don't know if you view yourself in that matter yeah. bro but you have that same power yeah. and that same impact man and that's I, I want to say that you know what Nas said Nas was like you know Jesse Jackson and them cats they ain't done with you know the new leaders is Nas and, yeah. and Young Jeezy that's yeah. exactly what he said do you feel, do you feel yeah man me and Nas actually chopped it up before we did the song about that and it's I mean, to be honest with you, I've been doing this, you know what I'm saying, for, for a minute now. And it's like to see me going around to all these places and having all these sold out shows. And it's just off of my opinion and, and, and what I've seen and been through is, is realistic. It lets me know, you know, like when they, when they try to criticize me, ask them, do y'all watch the news? It's like, you know what I mean? You can sit there, they, they're selling, you know, people's hardships and horrible things, you know, to get ratings. Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling you what's going on in my community. I'm wrong. You want to ban me? Like, why you, you know what I mean? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to ban CNN. You don't want to ban, but you want to ban right. my music. You want to ban our music. And you're going to leave more of us out here to do crazier things. Because I'm cool right now because I've been seasoned. But, you know, five years ago, you couldn't have got this conversation out of me, mm -hmm. man. I'll be, you know what I'm saying? If the money wasn't there, it's whatever. Right. However, you know what I mean? Right. So, you know. Even now, so it's like you gotta just you gotta watch the game, man. You gotta watch the whole the whole game. Right. You can't just watch key plays. You gotta watch the whole game. That's right. And, and it, it's get, the crazier it's getting, the better the music is getting. Mm -hmm. The crazier they try to take us, the better we getting. Like look at how we speaking now. Look at how everybody's better together to support Barack. You know what I mean? That right. never happened. That's right. You never had everybody in line with their hands up like Ronald Reagan. You know what I mean? Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. it don't work like that. Working, right. walking around with t-shirts on and really. Getting on the radio and saying what they feel, like you know what I mean. That's real. Yeah. Well, as we as we as we close, you know, what advice would you have for our young brothers out here, our young sisters out here who are struggling, who are starving, who were who was in that position that you yeah. was once in? What advice? What sense of hope can you? I, mean, you I tell them, them, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, sky's the limit. You can think it, you can do it. I know I did. I mean, I sat in the bed a lot of nights, like if I could just make it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna make a difference, and I think that's what I've done. I mean, from even from hiring people and, and, and creating situations and jobs and things like that and going back to the, uh, the community and, and, and still dealing with, you know, with, with, with my skeletons as far as what people got to say. Right. You know what I mean? He, he raps about this, he raps about this. These things go on. So, you know, if you can take a negative and make it a positive, I say do what you do, man. Right. You know, That's get it up. in. Got to do up. that. That's the up, bro. I appreciate that. We appreciate sure. that. All right, you're listening.